Hi all, this is Janie, and I'm going to do just a brief video on how I have found it is easiest for me to install my fonts onto my iPad using the app AnyFont. If you look at the lower right hand corner of my screen, you see a green icon with two A's. That is the AnyFont icon. So let's just take a second and look at that. First of all, the app has to be installed on your iPad before you can start using it, obviously. And it's really not that hard to install, and I believe it is free in the App Store. This would be your opening screen. Now, yours wouldn't have as many fonts um, listed as I do because I'm a closet fontaholic. Um, I love my fonts. The nice thing about this is I can actually see what I have, and if you look to the right-hand edge, you see some check marks. Those check marks indicate what I have installed onto my iPad. They, um, I have quite a few that aren't installed yet. I put them on and take them off just for space purposes. But how do I get a new font in? And I think that is the big question. Well, there's a couple ways. You're supposed to be able to, by toggling that center, what looks like a piece of paper with a plus, you're supposed to be able to access websites that allow fonts to be downloaded. I don't have great success with this except for the last two, Dropbox and iCloud. And I want to point those out because what that means, if I move the packaged font, the true type or the um, open type OTF font from my desktop into either my Dropbox or my iCloud, I can then install it onto my iPad. The plus to that is that I don't get these silly little messages in Keynote saying font not installed. Okay, so there's benefits. The downside is that the top, I guess it's four, I, I, I can't get them here. So I've had to create my own way of doing it. I actually, with my own way is not a hard way. Let's do that. So I have any font on my iPad and I'm just gonna go directly to Safari and I'm going to go to Defont. I was here before, let me back it up. And this is the opening screen. If you're not familiar with defont.com, it's a great place to look for um, different fonts for your iPad and your computer. They're all free. What they are is the beginning of an artist's rendition of their glyphs. So sometimes you'll get one that's not quite, the letters don't all work the way you think they should, or sometimes you'll get one that's incomplete. I've not ever had a problem. I just, if in the end I'm not satisfied with what the, typeface looks like I just get rid of it it was free and it's fun to go shopping when it's free so let's you can scroll through there's tons you can see all the different categories there's a lot of other um, sites as well and in fact if you look at that little listing you can actually go directly to their websites just for illustration purposes let's look at Ants Valley or the Friday let's go the Friday stroke I like that one so I want to put it into my GoodNotes and my iPad. Now, if I put it on my iPad, which is what I'm going to do, I can also use it in Keynote. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is select Download. And I get a new screen. It's a zip file. That's great. I can open it directly into any font. Now, it will come up like that because it's the last thing I selected. If, for example, it wasn't the last thing I selected, I would select more, and I could scroll over here and say copy to any font. So it's that top row. So I'm gonna take it into any font. The result is the same whether you use open in any font or have to look for it. And I am going to now look in my list, and it should be, get rid of this, it should be on here, and it was Friday Stroke. Come all the way down, it's third from the bottom. Follow its line across to the arrow that points to the right-hand edge of my screen. I'm gonna click that arrow. And the next thing that comes up is my Install button. Remember, on the list does not necessarily mean installed. Click Install. The website is trying to download, yes, allow it. Profile download. Now I'm going to follow the directions that any font gives me. So I'm going to close this. 
I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to go to, the, I'm already in general, which is the gear shift. And you can see at the top, and let me click on general, go to profiles, one, several, several box sets down. And there it is, the Friday stroke font, okay? By any font, just because it's here does not mean it's installed. It says downloaded. So I'm gonna click the arrow to the right. Now I can do two things upper right hand corner install or I can remove it let's say uh, I don't like it I'd remove it but I want to install it so I'm going to click install and there's actually a series of steps it's pretty much a security thing so that you can install this font enter your passcode and it says the configuration installs the font but I have to tell it to, so I go upper right-hand corner, next, profile not signed, okay, install, install profile, install, and the Friday stroke is now in installed. So I'm gonna select done, and let's go back to my iPlanner. So I'm in GoodNotes 5, and I'm going to actually use the font. One of my issues, my and it's, it's workable, it's not horrid. I've already let GoodNotes know. One of my issues that I have is that if I do not configure my color before I put my font in, I sometimes don't get the color I desire. I'm gonna go with the blue. So I'm gonna select my blue. I'm gonna go to, on the end, the AA for styling, and I'm going to go to select my font and it was something Friday. This would be a good place for tracker. The Friday stroke, I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go back to styling. The other complaint I have is if I do not set it as my default, it will automatically go back to the last thing I set as default. So I'm gonna save as default. And actually what I've come to interpret that to mean is it's a default for what I'm doing now. All right, I'm gonna go to my text box, the T in the blue box. There's my cursor and I'm going to write. And there you have a brand new font.